Greetings and salutations and welcome to episode 88 of the Bolton Save. And it's something a bit special today. We're going to do transfers. We're going to do the transfer window. If you have no interest in watching me fuck up transfers, then you, you're welcome to skip this episode. This is uh, A lot of people have asked over the save, you know, we're 80 odd episodes in now. And a lot of people have asked of... Uh, can we see how you do transfers or just ask questions about how I find players and stuff like that. I don't use any mystical talents. I'm not the best in the world at this. Um, it's just sort of this is how I do it and we can sort of go through and talk. Like I mentioned before, I want to try and stick to more homegrown players this window, if at all possible. But I'm not going to stick so strictly to that that I won't, you know, I'm going to sign shit players. If they're, I will find somebody else if um, we can't find a homegrown player. So the first thing I do... We're at the 1st of June, which is normally when I start looking at transfers. So I've moved all the players from my uh, under-21s uh, into my senior squad. So I can take a better look at my entire squad. So we'll go through, first thing you do, go through the positions, obviously, and see where you need to strengthen. So let's have a look. Casaro in goal, very happy with him. Fraser Forster, really good backup. Um, he's tutored him, he's helped, he's improved his determination by a couple. Um, a really good partnership there. Forster's happy to be back up. Um, very happy with that. So goalkeepers, fine. Moving on. Don't need to worry about goalkeepers. Obviously, one step back from this, you'd work out the formation you want to start the season with. And this is it. It's how we played last season. Um, flat back four, well, two wing attacking wing backs, three central midfielders, inside forwards, and a complete forward. Um, so always obviously have that in mind first. So... Okay, let's have a look at our centre-back options. <clears throat> so, AD Higgins is out on loan, so he'll be back shortly. So, he will be included in the discussion. First off, we're going to look at... Um, there's multiple ways you can do this. Um, you can look at the, your sort of squad depth screen. Um, I kind of just... When you're used to the team, I kind of I can just sort of scan through and have a look at them. So, first I've got Enzo Rocco, who had a solid season. Happy with him. He's fine. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Joe Gomez, obviously solid as a centre-back, can fill in at right-back and left-back. Always good to keep in mind. Chambers is now my left, my right-back, uh, but he can fill in at centre-back if need be. Alex Anderson is just a young player with a bit of potential. He's like the sort of backup, backup player. He's fine, I think. Don't want to loan him out because I, want him, I don't think he's ever going to be great. So uh, I don't have to worry about stunting his growth as a centre-back or, or right-back because... I don't think he's going to be that good anyway. So he's just basically a backup, backup. If we get any bad injuries, maybe an easy cup game. So Manolas is an interesting one. I think he's still very solid plays. He's hitting 30 now, so you need to keep an eye on his stats, but his attributes. But as you can see, those physicals, they're just not moving. They're not budging. He is absolutely solid player. Really, really like him. Uh, Higginson is coming back. He's got very good stats. He's an England international, 12 caps at the age of 22. So he's going to come back and I'm going to give him some game time. This is the season to prove himself because he was a big signing for us. He played like shit. Um, <laughs> we, saw, we, we loaned him past Villa and he, he played a little bit better um, in a worse team. So I think that's, that's a good sign. We're going to give him a season. Uh, next up, we've got Sergio Galezzi. He's another one of our young centre-back options, another backup option. I'm definitely going to keep him at the club. He's got massive potential. I only played eight games this last season. I'm hoping to give him a bit more time. He did play some cup games as well. Uh, Luis Castani. Now, we've had him for a number of seasons. He's been on loan all over the place. Never really done much. He's not going to prove enough so we are going he's going to be the first transfer listed players i know a lot of you guys play with a big under 21 squad so you can put him in your under 21s or do whatever but i i kind of just like sticking to the first team especially because we get such shit youth intakes uh, so he's valued at three still young we're going to pop him up at five million pounds start start off for five and uh, we'll just get rid of him to the under-21 squads. Our left back is like rock solid. It's our best position. We've got Guerrero and uh, Pekan, Yeltsin Pekan as our, as our left backs. Don't need to worry about that. Seamus Coleman is our backup right back. So it's the old adage, two, two players for each position. Um, so we're very, very happy with that. One of the, one of the questions we could ask ourselves is, is if we look at our centre-backs, we've got one, two, three, four, five, plus Callum Chambers... Plus Anderson. So there could be a possibility for a loan move here. And the obvious choice for a loan move is a Galesi. 
Interesting. I think we'll leave it for now, but that's might something we look look to uh, as we go deeper in the window. Because you also never know if you're going to sell a player out of the blue. You know, if somebody comes in 50 million for Yeltsin, like he's gone. Um, so you don't want to rush into too many things. So um, Seamus Coleman's got one year left on his deal. I think I'm just going to run his contract out, to be honest. Um, that's fine. So we play three central midfielders, um, various different roles, ball winning, box to box, and advanced playmaker. Now, we know that Aya is um, a really good all rounder, pretty much can fill in uh, everywhere, even ball winning to a decent degree. Uh, but I prefer, I prefer playing him further forward. Uh, Lewis Cook is, a, is another decent all round, but he's more of a playmaker. Less on the sort of defensive side. Um, we've got El Said. Now I'm going to sell this guy. Um, he looks like a bright prospect, but he had a leg break or something, which really just killed off his chances of becoming a top, top player. I still think he'll be good, but I think we can afford to move him on, raise a bit of money. Leper, absolute superstar for us last season. Again, another sort of playmaker, box to box. So as you can see, um, and we've got Casaras, who's just a sort of backup option. How much money is he on? 30 grand. He's not on too much money. Um, another playmaker, box to box type player. He's our sort of main backup. So we'll keep him, but he's not really there for, for that. And the same with Emil Larson. Um, again, box to box. So, so we're fine, uh, playmakers and box to box. What we need is a ball winning midfielder. That is the, we've said this before, this is our important signing that we need to make even if i spent nearly all my pretty much all my money on a, on a uh, ball winning midfielder that would be fine um going further forward as our um inside forward positions we've got some really good options so we've got azui green um gribben and odegaard i like them all i'm happy with them all azui and odegaard are first choice we've got green and gribben as their sort of backups maybe one more is just uh, maybe a youngster if we find a good youngster that we can have just as for like cup games or if we get any bad injuries then up top we have um the afro obviously um absolutely superb player so is shavi he's got he's injured for the start of the season our other choice is Axel Bigot. He is a bigot. Um, who's a very good young player. I picked him up for 600 grand. I think it was even one of the agent offers that came in. And I was like, okay, I'll pick him up. Um, spent a season on loan at Hull. Scored 14 goals. Very nice. Then spent a season on loan at Montpellier. So he's got some really good experience. And I think I'm going to keep him at the club. And um, just have him as our third choice. Just in case we get some injuries. Like... Like, for instance, he's going to start on the bench this season because uh, of Xavi. But what we will do is... Um, <clears throat> oh, we can't do that because he's not at the club. Right. So, we're pretty solid. We don't have to do too much crazy. Let's look at our finances. I think we've got £60 million, £60 million pounds to spend and four hundred grand on wages. Plus, if we make maybe five from a couple of minor sales, um, let's do it. So, I set up... Um, obviously, assignments for scouting is really important. Normally, I kind of have every scout going to maybe a different region of the world, spending a year there, traveling around all the countries, picking up picking up players. Not picking up players, that sounds like illegal. Um, <laughs> picking up young boys. Uh, but this time, because I wanted to concentrate on sort of the home nations and trying to get a few home, more homegrown players, for the last six months, just to set up this episode, I've just sent them out to all the sort of homegrown nations, um, various different championships. So we've got obviously all the countries, then England under 21s, England under 18s, the Skybet Championship, there might be a couple of goodies there, and obviously just a, a general UK and Ireland sort of scouting. And uh, we'll see who we found. So they didn't find too many little gems. Obviously, I... I when I set up the scouts, I say minimum four-star potential. So obviously they have to be very good players to even appear here. So the first we're going to look at is the under-18s. This is where I go first, just for these general scoutings before I sort of scout more. So first I've got Trevor Whittingham. Um, no. No. It doesn't look that amazing, really. Possible five-star, he's saying. But no, no, we'll, we'll leave that. We wanted to sort of, at the moment, we're looking for players... That can really improve our squad. Um, first team player really. Unless I find like I said. A, a inside forward. Uh, like a 17, 18 year old inside forward. 
that basically his fifth choice comes in for the cup games, does a bit of magic and stuff. Now, this guy looks pretty decent. Goalkeeper, 19 years old, but I don't need it. I've got a young goalkeeper as my first choice already. There's just no point in having two young goalkeepers. He's not going to get enough game time. I've got a good backup goalkeeper. Let's move on. Under 21s. So, first we're going to look at this kitty. Now, he is Swedish. Okay, obviously because we're, we're, we're looking in competitions where they could possibly. But I'm not counting anybody out. And he does look a very decent player. Um, we don't play with a defensive midfielder. He's more of a box-to-box. -box. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't really quite suit. He does look decent, though. Wow, this kitty looks... This kitty looks quite interesting, doesn't he? English, 19 years old. Because I do have the possibility, if I want to bring more homegrown players into it, then if I found a really good, say, young striker, I could sell Xavi, even though he's very good, but just replace him with the same version, but from from the UK. And this kid looks very, very good. Uh, finishing 16. First touch is 12. Uh, composure, 16. Anticipation, decision-making. Determination, 16. Off the ball, 16. Decent amount of pace. Uh, he's only five foot nine. Headings eleven. Jumping reach is eight. Okay, so that's uh, obviously a big weak point of his game. Scouts have a little cons about it. Oh, these are fucking Man City. They're going to want four hundred million. I love these players because you think, okay, five point five. I'll, I'll. How much do you want for him? And they go, oh, seventy-seven million. Ah, oh, fuck off. Uh, another centre back option. We don't really. He looks half decent, but we don't need another centre back at the moment. Um, Middlesbrough player. Kind of well rounded. It's not bad. Potential to be a star. As you see, the homegrown nature of this. Um, he was scouted. Always keep an eye on when they were scouted, because sometimes you might be looking at a scout report from two years ago. He's at fucking Chelsea, though, isn't he? Oh, man, why do they always have these fucking players? Occasionally, I always go and look at this. I So what I'll do is, whatever their value is, I'll say, do you want to sell him for that? Because occasionally they'll go, oh, no, 8 million. And then you go, oh, okay. A lot of the time you get this, and they go, mm, 49 million, and you go, fuck off. Um, good, versatile player, Nigerian. No, thank you. Don't really need a right winger at all. Okay, we'll move on. England under 21s. So we've got this Trevor Whittingham guy keeps coming up. I don't see. Am I missing something? He looks alright, but. Okay, Rodolfo Correa, he sounds British. Um, looks like an attacking wing back. Looks decent. But again, Man United. It's going to cost a bomb to. Prize him away. Ask, look at all the teams that are coming up. Mark Nutt. Now that's a good name. A good name always gives you like a 10% benefit on if you should sign them or not. It's fact. It's fact. Okay. Can't argue with the facts. This kid. A Belgium. Everyone loves a Belgium. He's a ball winning midfielder. 21 years old. Looks half decent. Fairly susceptible to injuries. I'm not sure how if he's going to improve enough. He's twenty. He's twenty-one. If he's like nineteen, I could go. Perhaps go for him. Obviously, he's at Arsenal, so it could be a could be a tricky way to tricky signing to make. Right, Emery Chan. Now I fucking sign him in a heartbeat. But he's on a lot of money. Forty. Oh, should we? I could see myself signing him. <laughs> I do love him. He's one of my. He's one of my current. Is is this just a silly purchase though? Twenty eight years old. Is that would this just be a silly like a sort of buying with my heart, not my head? He's a really good all rounder. He's still a very good ball in the midfielder. He's got good tackling and marking. His game is so well rounded. But 40 million. Right. I'll put, I'll put him on the short. I removed everybody from the shortlists so we could look sort of through this and with a clear eye. Um, Alvaro Diaz. He's at Derby. 
Is he actually at Derby though? Wow, Derby paid 16.5 million. Wow, how the future has changed. Um, looks all right. Physicals maybe a little bit low. I do like pace in all my strikers, and he doesn't have any. Um, we saw him before. Another goalkeeper, Croatian goalkeeper. We don't really need. Let's have a look at Daddy Saunders. The no, Danny, no, Danny. Pavel Pavek, great name. Uh, so that's helps. Uh, looks more like a, a sort of, oh, two footed. We don't get many of them. I don't think he's quite enough, and he's going to cost like twenty five million. He's not good enough to spend twenty five million on. James Salmons. Another centre back option, English, twenty one years old. No, we don't need unless they're spectacular. I've looked at this kid before, Andrew Andrew Townsend. Not Andros Townsend, it's different. A decent player, but there's a few gaps in his game. Wesley Law. I am the law. Right, it might be worth it just so we can do Judge Dread jokes. Hmm. But no, he's not good enough, is he? Yeah, I'm trying to justify it. All right, so then we just have a look at a few of these. Ah, oh, Picard. We had a look at him before, didn't we? Because we wanted to sign somebody called Picard. French international playing for Arsenal. It's going to cost like 35 million odd, um, which we just don't have or need at the moment. We can spend the, better, the money better elsewhere. We've looked at a lot of these players before. Fuck me. Fukushima. This guy looks pretty good, doesn't he? Moves into channels, plays his such, likes to try and beat the offside track. Oh, I like this guy. He's available for loan. Like seven cons. He, they don't want to sell him. He can't jump, right? Championship side. I think that's I think he's better than that. When do we scout him? Only very recently. Potential to be an acceleration. He's got great pace. Resolute. He's very determined. He's interested. Oh. I like him. And obviously, if, if you're in two minds like this, you're sort of, oh, I'm not sure. Then compare him to the guy that he would probably replace, which is obviously shabby. You can go and look at individual stats, but I just sort of tend to look at the lovely pretty pictures. So we're in a little bit quicker, quite a bit better vision. The biggest difference between these two, they're very similar players, is that Xavi's better in the air, a bit more of a physical presence, really. But Wirren has that vision, which is really nice. Because I'm playing with that almost three up top when we're attacking, He can. it's not just about scoring. Um, he's going bald at 19, though. Is that an issue? I, th I like this kid because I want to get homegrown players, even if it's not the best sort of purchase in the world. I think we'll... Okay, we'll definitely add him to shortlist, um, and we'll ask two. What, what are they going to say then? Place your bets. I'm going to suggest two million. I think they're going to come back with forty-two. Okay, you got your number. Are you ready? Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Man, I like this kid. Ten. <laughs> The thing is, right, if I was to replace Xavi, Xavi I could get a shed ton of money. And I'm not saying Xavi's a that bad player at all, not in, not even in the slightest. I paid £25 million for him. He's a very, very good player. But I just kind of, it'd be nice to have some more homegrown players. So I could almost do a swap, swap deal. About £15 million. Um... We'll put a cheeky little offer in. It's not high enough to, to, to win, right? Don't want that. There you go, 25 minutes. Just to, just to keep him interested. And also, I want to gauge the reaction of the player himself. Because even though Arsenal are going to reject that, he might come out and say, oh, I want to leave. And that might help get the signing across the line. Christian Eriksen, great player, but don't really need another sort of 30-year-old inside forward. Right, so Arsenal have got some fucking strikers. Look, they need to sell one of these guys. Look, they've got a 23-year-old, 44 million, and a 24-year-old that's 35 million. 
That's greedy. It's very greedy. Let's have the British one, yeah? You can keep the other two. Fucking hell, they've got some amazing strikers. <laughs> Don't need a goalkeeper. Don't need a right back. Um, unless they're there English and then I'll check them out. Um, Danny Saunders. Eric Dyer I'd love to have, but he's going to cost an ungodly amount of money, isn't he? I don't really play... He's not really a centre-back. I, I do prefer him in that sort of deep-line midfielder option. Um, Harry Kane. Harry, Harry Kane. I've gone off him after seeing him in the World Cup, in the Euro, Euro 16. How much would he cost? They're not going to want to sell him, so he would cost the earth, wouldn't he? Okay. Right. So after I've had a quick look through my scout reports, this is going to be a fucking long episode, by the way. Um, so bear that in mind. I go through, the next thing I do is look at the contract expiring in one month's time. So these are all the players. Just just have a quick idea, because occasionally you find a... I don't usually find the most the best players here, but sometimes like players that you might want to just use for a season that might be decent, like Lacazette or Godongan. Godongan? Godongan? What about Godongan people? I, he just, he fills the role that I've got so many other players for. That's the problem with this player. <laughs> It's, it's he's a pretty tempting though. He's, look at his mmm mmm good dongan. I'll, I'll add him to the shortlist. All right, that's that's all I can say. Um, Maitland Niles, a uh, very good player, but I don't think it's good. Not quite good enough for us. Um, any oldies? Any oldies want to come? Lacazette. Not too bothered about. Um, Gilfy Sigerson. I love Gilfy Sigerson, by the way. he's. I think he's superb player. He's still very good, actually. Do I need him? I don't need him, though. That's the problem. Okay, no. Um, that way, that'll do. All right, so we want to find a ball-winning defence. I use the attributes picker. So we're going to go to our midfield roles, and we're going to go for a ball-winning midfielder on defend. Um, you can always click back into tactics to make sure you've got the right option and stuff because they'll stay there. Uh, drag this down. So default stats to 15. Um, so I will make sure that it's got realistic transfers on and we'll go down one and hopefully a few pop up. So we've got 21 names appearing here um, on a very basic search. This can be any position though. This guy's a centre back. And... Although you could retrain him, he's 29 years old. It's going to take so long to retrain him. It's just not, it's just not worth it. Like if it was 21, you go okay, I can work with him um, and do some do some magic. But what I'm going to do is say, look, let's just see if we can find an actual natural player for that position first. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of scouting. As you can see, nearly <laughs> all the players that are ready for that position have been scouted. We're going to drop this down further. We want to sort of spread our wings nice and far to see if we can find... Oh, Henry Chan's come up, hasn't he? Fuck it. Fuck it. How about... He probably played all season, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. 30 million. Oh my lord! I really Liverpool? Really? Really? What about. Ah, that hurts. That hurts. P punch in the stomach, that is. 40 million. Okay. It's not, I'm not going 65 plus million for him. It almost felt like I justified it because I thought, am I just thinking with my heart instead of my head? But then he, he hits all the stats and everything, and I thought, okay, let's do it. And then it was like, no. And you're like, oh, oh. he looks very good. We're going to see if we can find a British player first. Um, this, is, this is the British player that's come up. That Mad says that. I like when you get some freaky shit player that's just hit the stats. So, what you can do after this, oh, the Iron Man, we could buy him back. How long has he been away? We've had him for one season. Yeah, he's more of a centre-back than 
um, central midfielder. So Kalini, very good player, 29 now. So what you want to do after this, so let's say you've got your list and you go, okay, well, there's none of these that, you know, that you really fancy the the look of or something like this. All your, this is just a very basic setup for a player like this. So then you look at sort of individually and you sort of see, okay, which attributes do I, I, am I not too bothered of? What you can do is just say, look, match 10 out of the 11 stats. Um, but sometimes that backfires because you say match 10 of the 11. So you might get a player that has all these stats but has marking of one, which is crap. Um, so what I prefer to do is just individually, we sort of check the amount of players and we go, okay, okay, speed isn't the most important thing in the world. We'll, we'll let you have that. So there you go, eight players, just by dropping that acceleration down to 12, we've added eight players to the pool of, of players here. Um, we're going to say, any others? I like to sort of get a pool of sort of over 50 to really have a good look through. Um, aggression. Stamina is actually not as important. He, he doesn't. He's not going to be the most running about. Okay, we've only got one more player for that, so I'm just going to actually put that back up. Um, we're going to say aggression. Let's have a slightly less aggressive player. It's given us another four there. So we've got our basic bunch of. Um, who's this kitty here? Just looking Gamboa. Okay, so, so you get some shit as well. Doesn't mean they're all going to be perfect players. That's why you need to look through. What I tend to do now is click, scroll, shift click, right click, get scout report, and just get a quick scout report, or just to give you a better idea of the guys that are that you know that are wanting to, wanting to come, or the scouts actually rate, um, and then give it a couple of days. But we're just going to have a quick look through. See, look, Jandro Fux. See, that's he's not actually bad. He's not bad. And his name's Fux, man. It's, it's Folly Fuchs, isn't it? But it's Fux. See? 10%, remember? 10%. Their name is 10% of how good a player is. I do like him. What's he really lack? He's 24 years old, so he's going to improve, but not massively. Um, I'm not a massive fan of Knox Ball past the opponent, because he's... Not the quickest, and also he's a ball-winning midfielder, which doesn't sort of fit, really. Um, I want him to just do the play steady. He's got a decent passing. Um, I don't mind this guy. This could be a cheeky little pickup. Um, he's happy. Good signing. It's not going to cost a massive amount of money. He's very one-footed, which is a shame. Remember, scout, scouts only rate him a two and a half star, but that's just a guide. Don't have to... If he fits your position, and that's much more important than what a random scout thinks of him. So, no matter how good your scouts are, don't, like, trust them. Right, so we're, we're going to... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to scout all these players, right, and see if we can uh, update all the scout reports, see if there's anything good. The next thing we're going to do, you can always like um, save the save the filter um, if you want to go back to it. So we'll call this. What the fuck am I looking for? Boring. In. Eh. And then we're going to reset this. And then what we're going to have a quick look at before we finish up, because we're getting near a half an hour now, is to go through. the inside forward roles because like like we were saying we were thinking of maybe if we can find a little young player that can maybe overtake one of these players one day but not not somebody that's for the first team um but somebody that's really got a bright future so we're going to broaden the search a little bit here so we get a lot of players we're sorting them by age so we can really find like a like a romero something like that because a young player like i said we can retrain a romero we could looks quite decent he's 23 now um i would prefer to get a little bit younger because they're not going to be first choice for a couple of seasons we know that much so fucking hell how good's this guy oh my lord that guy looks amazing jeez he's only 21 greek jesus 
We can see many of them. Okay, we're going to match 13 to hopefully bring this this up a little bit. Okay, so we've got a couple of players, interesting players come up. Dan Hora for Derby. <coughs> so he's left-footed. So we would really want to play him on as an inside forward on the other side. And so we click the one we want to look at. So the only thing that led to, I actually like this guy. Um, if he was only if he was British, I would have I'd definitely gone for him. Um, he needs to work on his finishing, but he's a very very good player. Driven, shoots from distance, shoots with power. Um, his long shots is is okay. Decent amount of pace. I like his stamina and strength is really good. Yeah, just I would if he was British, I'd buy him. I just don't want to sort of buy a young. Unless there's like spectacular, I don't want to buy young, non-British players. I'm trying to find some cheeky little players elsewhere. Uh, as you see, I'm not searching it by position because I can retrain them as long as they're not playing like as a goalkeeper or something. I can retrain these youngsters um, with no no problem. So he's listed and loaned. Twenty two years old. Meh. Meh. Gareth Bale. <laughs> um, Pedro Souza. We'll have a uh, let's have a look at this one. Ilya Boldrev. Decent player, very decent player. Again, finishing needs a little bit of work for the inside forward. But I like some of these mental stats. Very nice. Gets an says gets forward whenever possible. Does not dive into tackles. Enthusiastic winger. It's going to cost around forty million. Decent player, but we could do better. Uh, we can move this up a bit if you want to see more. Callum Slattery. Okay, oh, he's 23. I got a little bit excited then, but then he's 23. He's nowhere near good enough. Ah, Isaac Success. Where is that? Uh, let's let's see the English players that are fit in this bill. So I saw Isaac Success. Oh, he's maybe not English. Theo Walcott, people. Theo Walcott. He's not doesn't quite hit the young uh, category. Look, we're we're struggling in England for decent players. Look at this. The youngest player that fits those bills is twenty three. Um, we could, if we go down to ten, what have we got seventy nine players that are British. I'm gonna go down to we're gonna go down to ten. So we're gonna get a big bunch of English players that are gonna fit a lot of these bills. Um oh, he's coming up again. John Stone. Okay. Ooh. Mike for only. So we'd have to train him to play on the left if we wanted to for our inside forward position. Um we can but we can have a look at the stats. He's got a decent amount of pace. He's got he's got quite a lot of the main stats. I don't think he's gonna be a world beater, but a little bit of squad depth. He's a little bit too old for I know twenty's young, but he's a little bit too old for what are we're trying to achieve here, which is to get somebody that's gonna come through in maybe a year or two's time. He needs to be sort of starting to get game time now. Gary Conroy's playing for Dortmund. Oh, I like him. Oh, I like him. Hmm. Doesn't want to join. Fuck you then. Fuck you, Gary. Um. Oh, this guy. We can't, can we? We can't sign <laughs> this guy. Costs so much money. The guy who's got one England under nineteen cap. He's played not a single game of football in his in his life. I can't then go and spend forty million, sixty million pounds on him. Or can I? Am I just that crazy? Um 
Curtis Weeks, good name. Fantastic physical, sir. Left footed. Um, your technicals need a bit of work, son. Technicals need a bit of work, but not too bad. John Joe Shelby. Hmm. Oh, Voldemort. I need to sort of finish this episode soon, otherwise, it's going to fucking go on for ages. Yeah, so let's, let's talk about sort of more general techniques. I'm going to get um, some of these players scouted, I think. I really do want that Wirren guy. Don't be surprised if you watch the next episode and I've bought him for £16 million, pounds, a player that's never played a game of football in his life. Um, just, just letting you know now. Right, so we're really going to broaden this, and I'm, I'm going to... Can we have some fucking young players, please? We're going to then put age on it, and we're going to say... Um, is at most 21... Thank you. 27 players. Still nobody. Look, look at this. I'm not asking for much in the way of stats, am I, people? Look. Tens. He's coming up again. He's coming up. Steve Cooper. There we go. He's the gem. No, no. Right, so I'm going to... Are we really going to go one lower? Are we really... How many players is that? 62 players. Okay, I'm going to find a young... <laughs> Inside forward, English player. So as before, Bosch. This is why you want to start your transfer window quite early because I can get all these these two groups of players. I can get them scouted in a, in a couple of weeks um, before the transfer window even opens. We're going to call this our um, inside forward babies. <laughs> That's, that sounds wrong. Is that an eye? Is that a fucking eye? That's, yeah, that's what it's, just what it looks like. Yeah, so they're the main ways I go through my team. I just go through the assignments that I've set up and just have a brief scan. Do further scouting if you need be. I and obviously you can be have it set up with hidden attributes, in which case you need to do more scouting. But with when you have that turned off, because I just find that an annoyance more than a level of difficulty, because it just means I have to wait another two weeks before I find out what attributes. It, it, it doesn't serve to add any much more difficulty to it, I just find it a pain in the ass. That's why I have uh, that turned off and I can see all the attributes. So really, I only need a quick scout report, just to give me a brief overview. Does he want to come? You know, is he going to get a work permit? Is he susceptible to injuries? Obviously, if you're being a bit more careful, you can scout them for another couple of weeks, just to make sure, you know, there's any little hidden bits there, um, or stuff that might change. But use the, the, use the stars as a guide, but don't rely on them. Like, um... Remember, this is only related to the rest of your team, so everything changes all the time. Uh, we finished the season. Joe Gomez was a three and a half star. Now he's a two and a half. We, he was a two and a half when we bought him. It changes so much that it's kind of. Ugh. I wish I, I'm I'm not a big fan of this star system at all. To be honest, I think it can be done differently, better. Um, you know, not it shouldn't be compared against your own team. It should be maybe like league based or something i don't know i don't know I'm, I'm off i'm off tangent right there we go guys so to sum up we've uh oh shit oh i forgot he was coming oh i forgot he was coming oh we, we signed him ages ago oh okay i don't need another oh, no that doesn't change anything because this this guy's more for a bit of fun really just a season of having royce in our team i thought would be nice Really? Um, yeah. So the two big players that I wanted to get were Wirren and Emre Chan, And combined, they would probably cost about £120 million. So, yeah, that'd be interesting. Um, stay tuned for the next episode because I'm going to do a uh, transfer special with a sort of uh, announcing all the transfers that we've made. I feel like this has been a bit of a letdown, really, because I didn't know to actually do that many bids for players. But when you get to this level, it, it's, it's fine margins, and we don't really have to rebuild. We're only looking for one or two more players just to complete our squad, basically. I think if we get a decent ball-winning midfielder, we can win the league. That That's it. And that's why I'm tempted just to go all out to get Emre Chan. That's... I could just about afford him... I might. So watch the next episode and you'll find out if I just go for it like that.
Thank you very much for joining me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Something a bit different. Let me know if you want to see this every season, or is it just like an occasional thing you want to see, or January with transfer windows even, maybe. Thank you very much. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.